On the 10th of June, 2017, EPAVIM commenced the operation of a new infrastructure entitled the Integrated Waste Management System of the Western Macedonia Region. The construction was carried out by Helector, a company specialized in waste management projects. The project receives the municipal solid waste from a network of 10 regional waste transfer stations in Kozani, Amidio, Voio, Grevena, Descati, Eordea, Castoria, Servia, Siatista, and Florina. From there, they are transferred to the Mechanical Biological Treatment, or MBT, plant. The waste trucks entering the MBT plant are weighed at the entrance, weigh bridge, recording incoming waste, and then proceed to the reception unit. Waste is uploaded in the reception bunker. An automated crane feeds the moving floor, which further forwards the waste to the pretreatment unit. In the hand sorting cabin, the bulky waste is removed to protect the downstream equipment. A bag opener empties the waste from plastic bags in order to facilitate further mechanical separation. A conveyor belt transfers the waste to the mechanical separation unit. Here the recyclable products are separated from the organic materials and other residue that are disposed of in the adjacent sanitary landfill. At the initial stage of treatment, a drum screen and a vibrating screen separate the waste into three streams, depending on their size. The fine stream leads to the composting unit, while the intermediate and larger streams of recyclables are directed for optical separation. The first pair of optical separators distinguishes plastic materials suitable for recycling. The optical separator is a scanner that recognizes the recyclables and separates them from the rest of the waste using an array of air valves which divert them towards the correct course. Paper is separated from the rest of the waste with the paper optical separator before the final quality control. The ballistic separator separates plastics based on their shape. Plastic films are separated from other 3D plastics, such as plastic bottles. Two optical separators separate 2D plastics into two streams of PE film, transparent and colored. The recovered materials are then forwarded to the quality control cabin. Three-dimensional plastics, such as hard plastic packaging and bottles, feed into three consecutive optical separators that recognize and sort PET, HDPE, and PP materials before entering the quality control cabin as well. The remaining waste stream from which the plastic and paper have been removed, is forwarded to magnetic separators for the recovery of ferrous metals and to eddy current separators for the recovery of aluminum cans. The recovered recyclables finally end up in the recyclables baler as well as the metal press to facilitate further transport. The organic fraction is diverted to the composting unit for biological decomposition in closed horizontal aerobic bioreactors made by the German company Herof, which is fully owned subsidiary of Helector. The organic material is aerated for approximately two weeks in the composting bins in a fully controlled environment 
with regulated temperature, humidity, and ventilation conditions. Aerobic treatment is carried out under controlled conditions, and a hygienic and partially stabilized organic material is obtained. The organic material produced is then transferred to the maturation shed and arranged in trapezoidal piles, where it remains for four to six weeks. A specialized windrow turner is used for effective compost turning, as needed, according to a specified temperature, oxygen, and humidity measurements. The stabilized compost product is finally led to the refinery unit, where the matured organic material is separated from any residual materials, such as hard plastics, gravel, plastic film, glass, and other inert waste. The produced material, called Type A compost, is now considered to be fully refined, meeting the requirements of the Greek legislation, and is suitable for final use. The residual materials are collected in a container and sent for final disposal to the sanitary landfill together with other residues obtained from the mechanical separation unit. The sanitary landfill area consists of two main depository cells fully sealed, which includes a leachate collection pipe network and a biogas collection network. Exhaust air is evacuated from all enclosed waste treatment areas and processed in a central de-dusting and deodorization system in order to reduce emissions to acceptable levels. This allows comfortable, safe, and harmless working conditions for operating staff while the release of dust and odors to the environment is prevented. Wastewaters produced in the MBT plant as well as leachate from the landfill are collected and directed to the wastewater treatment plant. The wastewater first undergoes a biological process and then a physico-chemical treatment in the reverse osmosis unit in order to recover and use water suitable for all the operational and irrigation needs of the facility. The first integrated solid waste management system of Western Macedonia is now a reality with the commencement of the commercial operation on 10th of June 2017, Western Macedonia will be treating all of its waste in a modern and environmentally optimal way, recovering useful materials from the waste and providing a high quality service to its citizens, which improves their living environment. Through the integrated solid waste management system, Western Macedonia becomes the first region in Greece to conform to European requirements for waste management with the official seal of Elacto Group. <laughs>